As the ban enters the parade deck, we ask that you refrain from crossing the parade deck or crossing in front of the reviewing area. If you must cross, please go to the far ends. Once you have reached the seating area, we ask that you remain seated, keeping the area directly in front of the bleachers clear. Feel free to take photographs and videos from anywhere in the seating area. We ask that you silence all electronic devices. Please look around you and do not leave any trash or personal belongings. At the conclusion of today's ceremony, we ask that you exit the parade deck behind the bleachers. Thank you. Officially formed in 1921, Marine Band San Diego has thrilled countless millions throughout the world with its inspiring renditions of traditional and contemporary music. Each member of the band has completed recruit training and maintains combat skills, giving true meaning to the title Marine Musicians. Marine Band San Diego is under the leadership of Warrant Officer Megan Harper, Band Officer, and Master Sergeant Frederick Kern, Bandmaster. Today, the band is led on the march by the drum major, Gunnery Sergeant Wesley Hayes, and is under the direction of the enlisted conductor, Staff Sergeant Ren Ponzer de Chan.
The pre-parade serenade was provided by Marine Band San Diego, Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego. The Marine Corps has played an active role in San Diego history ever since the Marines from the Sloop of War, Cyan, seized Old Town during the Mexican-American War in 1846. Marines have been stationed at the Recruit Depot since 1921, when most of the buildings to your front were constructed. These buildings, known as the Arcade, were designed by world-famous architect Bertram Goodhue. The Arcade is among 25 buildings that have qualified for an inclusion on National Register of Historic Places and are outstanding examples of Spanish colonial revival architecture. Since 1923, more than a million Marines have completed their recruit training here at Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego and since 1915 at Marine Corps Recruit Depot Paris Island in South Carolina. Regardless of where Marine attended boot camp, you can rest assured that they received the toughest, most physically and mentally demanding recruit training offered anywhere in the world. Some individual techniques and methods may have evolved over the years, but the focus and adherence to our core values of honor, courage, and commitment are as strong today as any time in our history. Today, the Marines of Hotel Company accept the responsibilities to safeguard this proud tradition as they step forward to join this rich heritage. Ahead of them lie bright futures that will no doubt add to the proud Marine legacy that they now rightfully claim as their own. Lance Corporal Bruno is a two-year-old, full-blooded English Bulldog born in Fallbrook, California on October 22, 2022. He is named after Major General Bruno Hochmuth, who at the time of his death was the first general officer killed during the Vietnam War. Major General Hochmuth was also the commanding general of the depot from November of 1963 to February of 1967. General Hochmuth was awarded the Distinguished Service Medal, the Legion of Merit with Combat V for Valor, the Navy Commendation Medal with Gold Star in lieu of Third Award, and the Purple Heart with Gold Star in lieu of Third Award. Lance Corporal Bruno continues the tradition of a long line of Marine Corps Bulldog mascots dating back to 1921 when Brigadier General Smedley Butler appointed Sergeant Major Jiggs as the first Bulldog mascot for Marine Corps Barracks Quantico. Lance Corporal Bruno is being escorted by the Officer Communication Strategy and Operations, Corporal Sarah Grockock. Spiritual development plays an important part in the making of a United States Marine. Lieutenant Brad D. Guillory, Chaplain Corps, United States Navy, will deliver the graduation prayer. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Let us pray. Eternal Father, some people wander all their lives if they have made a difference. These Marines do not have that problem. We are intensely proud of each of them and their noble accomplishment. We are grateful for all those who have made, and made great sacrifices to bring them to this day. As they go forth for flag and country, core and glory, and for one another, send down your blessings upon them, O God, that they may come through any ordeal with dignity. Semper Fidelis. Amen. Thank you. Please be seated. Right, 
The commanding general, Marine Corps Recruit Depot, San Diego, welcomes you to what is a historical event in the life of a Marine, their graduation from boot camp. Approximately 40 weeks each year for the past 100 years, new Marines have departed San Diego First Service with units of the Marine Corps around the globe. The primary mission of the Recruit Depot is to provide basic training to recruits enlisted west of the Mississippi, which represents approximately 51% of all applicants in the Marine Corps each year. The Depot is also home to Recruiter School and Drill Instructor School. All of our efforts here are geared toward one end, producing America's finest fighting force, the United States Marine Corps. This morning, Hotel Company, 2nd Recruit Training Battalion, Recruit Training Regiment will form and march in the parade. Following the pass and review, the graduating Marines will return front and center of the reviewing stand for final dismissal. The staff for today's parade is comprised of Marines from the Recruit Training Regiment. The command of troops is 1st Sergeant Thomas Brady and the parade agent is Staff Sergeant Dorian Martinez. The marching units are now being called to attention, and the adjutant's command, sound adjutant's call, will begin today's parade. Marching in today's parade are 565 of the graduating Marines from Hotel Company. Among the 565 Marines are two Marines who displayed outstanding performances in two individually graded events. Private First Class William Moore from Platoon 2169 is the company high shooter, scoring a 339 out of 350. Private First Class Vladimir Similin from Platoon 2173 is the most physically fit Marine, scoring a 300 out of 300 on the physical fitness test and a 300 out of 300 on the combat fitness test. They will be receiving awards from the Marine Corps Association and Foundation. Present today is the company honor graduates recruiter, Gunnery Sergeant Nicholas Cordoba. Also present today is the primary marksmanship instructor with a platoon high shooting average of 241 out of 250 for platoon 2169, Lance Corporal David Flannery. Recruit training is comprised of subjects required to produce basic Marines who function effectively in garrison are trained in rudimentary individual field and combat skills, and practice the personal and professional traits which distinguishes them as Marines. Examples of these traits are discipline, the achievement of self-control and self-awareness, which assures respect for authority, instant and willing obedience to orders, and the self-reliance to maintain or improve those traits which exemplify a Marine. Military bearing consistently demonstrating military presence and personal awareness, as well as the proper wearing and maintenance of uniforms. Esprit de corps, acquiring the common spirit of the Marine Corps that inspires enthusiasm, devotion, pride, initiative, teamwork, aggressiveness, determination, moral courage, integrity, camaraderie, and the burning desire to work with and for others towards excellence in common goals. For 248 years, Marines have fought and won whenever and wherever the nation calls. In the harshest conditions, over the most brutal terrain, and against the most formidable enemies, Marines defend the ideals of freedom with grit and tenacity. Although battlefields change and capabilities evolve, history proves that true victory comes from the individual Marine with steeled resolve, the drive to overcome any obstacle, 
and the warrior spirit to fight on against all odds. It takes that steadfast faithfulness, Semper Fidelis, to core, country, and each other that abounds throughout our storied legacy. Marines today remain in combat for deployed throughout the world, confronting every challenge with courage, loyalty, and faithfulness. They are resolved to be the most ready when the nation is least ready. To defend freedom anytime and anywhere. To stand ready to aid those devastated by natural disasters. To pay tribute to those who have forged our proud legacy. And to honor the families and loved ones who faithfully stand beside us. For the Marines of Hotel Company, today marks the end of the 13-week recruit training cycle. They have marched countless miles at Camp Pendleton, as well as on this parade deck, and have been trained as are all Marines as basic riflemen. In addition, due to an intensive physical training program, their strength and endurance have doubled since their arrival aboard the Recruit Depot. They are Marines, qualified to take their places in the ranks of the world's finest fighting organization. The platoons are now being aligned from left to right in order to get them into their exact positions for the parade. The next portion of the ceremony will be our national anthem. We welcome veterans and members of the armed forces to join us in rendering appropriate honors with a military salute. For guests who have not served in the military, it is proper etiquette during the national anthem to place their right hands over their hearts and for those in the audience wearing headgear to remove it. Will the guests please rise for the presentation of the colors.
Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem. Thank you. Please be seated. At the command, post the colors. The color guard moves into position within the parade. This signifies that the entirety of the parade has been formed and is ready to be presented to the command. Following the command, parade rest. The parade adjutant will give the command sound off, which signals the band to parade forward of the assembled Marines while playing military marching music.
The Parade Adjutant now presents the assembled command to the Commander of Troops. Command, Officer Center March. All unit commanders and guide on bearers march to the front and center of the formation. Historically, it was at this point that commanding officers would issue orders and instructions to the unit commanders. Following this, the unit leaders would face about, return to their units, and pass the information along to their Marines.
Throughout our nation's history, millions of men and women have earned the title United States Marine. Many who have helped shape our history join us here today. In keeping with the tradition of once a Marine, always a Marine, we would like to recognize them. At this time, those in the audience who have served as Marines, please rise. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for their dedicated service to Corps and country. Thank you. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the Battalion Commander for 2nd Recruit Training Battalion, Lieutenant Colonel Paul C. Drower. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Brigadier General James A. Ryan, the Commanding General of Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego in the Western Recruiting Region, as well as on behalf of Colonel Peter M. Rumler, the Commanding Officer Recruit Training Regiment, welcome to the graduation of Company H. <laughs> to start, I'd like to recognize today's parade reviewing official, Command Master Chief Christy Paskovich, who's a press of value here, here shortly and who currently serves as the Command Master Chief at Navy Region Southwest Transient Personnel Unit. Command Master Chief, it is an honor to have you here today. Thank you for joining us. It is my distinct pleasure to speak to you this morning for a few moments to express both the pride and gratitude I feel for this formation behind me. And that begins with you, the family and friends of these new Marines. Thank you for trusting us with your Marine. And thank you for your love and support on their journey to this momentous day and their new profession. From all of us, welcome to our Marine Corps family. Speaking of families, to the right of the viewing stand are the families of the Company H staff. No one knows more than you the time and dedication it takes to transform a civilian into a Marine. So our Major and I are incredibly grateful and indebted to you for your sacrifice and support, which enables these drill instructors and officers to perform this critical task. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please join me in a round of applause for the families of Hotel Company. Making Marines is a team effort. At the forefront are Marine Corps recruiters stationed across our great country. These men and women work tirelessly to identify, educate, and inspire the next generation of Marines. This legion of recruiters is represented today by Gunnery Sergeant Cordoba of Recruiting Substation College Station, Texas, who's responsible for helping the company honor graduate, Lance Corporal Howe, join our Corps. Our other teammate in this effort are the instructors at Weapons Field Training Battalion who teach the critical combat skills necessary to fight and win in any time and place. They are represented today by Lance Corporal Flannery, the top performing primary marksmanship instructor. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for our recruiters and combat instructors. The last group I'd like to thank certainly needs no introduction. For everyone knows the distinct campaign cover of a legendary Marine Corps drill instructor. These drill instructors are entrusted with the sacred responsibility of making Marines, and they shoulder this burden with professionalism, dignity, and compassion. From the moment a recruiter arrives at the depot, there is a drill instructor with them 24 hours a day, seven days a week, tirelessly instilling the qualities and esprit de corps of a United States Marine and leaving an indelible mark on those they lead. These Marines will never forget the name the face of the voice of their drill instructors. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for the Marines that make Marines, the drill instructors of Hotel Hell. These Marines behind me are on average 18-year-old high school graduates. 13 of them have college degrees. They've traveled here from every state and territory in the Western Recruiting Region and 13 countries across the globe having immigrated from as far away as Iraq, Germany, and Ukraine. And when they raised their right hand and swore a solemn oath to support and defend the Constitution of the United States, they differentiated themselves from 99% of their peers. 
you'll likely notice some changes in your Marines. But the most important change is one that has occurred within, for they have been immersed in our core values of honor, courage, and commitment. It is because of this and the journey they have undergone, I am pleased to present 565 young men who can proudly claim the title United States Marine. Excuse me for a moment while I address the newest members of our Corps. Good morning, Marines. Sergeant Major and I are extremely proud of you. We've watched you grow and strive over the last 12 weeks and are pleased to welcome you to our ranks. You should be proud of what you've accomplished. You've earned your tan belt in Marine Corps Martial Arts. You've passed water survival training. You've overcome the obstacle and confidence course, and you've mastered Marine Corps marksmanship and can accurately fire your rifle from 500 yards. And as a final test, you've completed the centerpiece of recruit training, the Crucible, an event designed to make Marines into better warriors. With little food, little sleep, and over 40 miles of forced marches in three days, we demanded physical toughness, mental agility, and leadership. And through this event, you demonstrated the limitless nature of what you can achieve individually, and most importantly, as a team, through shared hardships with your fellow Marines. Having completed the most demanding recruit training, you stand ready to carry on our Corps' legacy as America's Naval Expeditionary Force in readiness. As you transition to the next phase of your profession, I implore you to be smart, to be safe, and to make good decisions. Remember, that Eagle Globe and Anchor you now wear represents 248 years of Marines who have gone before you. You must always be worthy of that legacy, and you must protect what you've earned. Congratulations, Marines. Semper Fidelis, and welcome to the Corps. Now taking their position in the reviewing area is today's parade reviewing official, Command Master Chief Christy Pashkovich, Command Master Chief Navy Region Southwest Transient Personnel Unit. She is accompanied by Sergeant Major Orange O.A. Levy, Sergeant Major for Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego at the Western Recruiting Region. Command Master Chief Pashkovich enlisted in the Navy in March of 1999. She attended Operation Specialist Alpha School in Damnick, Virginia, graduating in September of 2000. Command Master Chief Pashkovich is a graduate of the Senior Enlisted Academy Class 211 and the Command Master Chief's Course Class 192. Command Master Chief Pashkovich has served in a variety of challenging billets and numerous commands to include primary anti-submarine tactical air controller aboard the USS Benfold. Military Detachment Chief Petty Officer in Charge at United States Naval Station Alan Shepard and United States Naval Station Richard E. Byrd. Command Senior Chief at LCS Crew 101 where she sailed both the USS Freedom and the USS Fort Worth on their maiden deployments. Commissioning Command Master Chief at USS Lena Sutliff Higby. Survival, Survival evasion, evasion, resistance, and escape, and escape instructor at Center, Center for Security Force Detachment, Detachment North Island. She, she has conducted, conducted intelligence, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance missions in support of Operation Enduring Freedom, Philippines, and Operation Enduring Freedom, Afghanistan, Afghanistan aboard, aboard the USS, the USS Boxer, Boxer, San Diego, Diego Fleet Maritime Patrol, Patrol Mobile Operations, Operations Communication Center, Misawa, Japan. Command Master Chief Pashkovich is currently serving as the Command Master Chief for Navy Region Southwest Transient Personnel Unit. 
Command Master Chief Bashkowitz's personal decorations include the Meritorious Service Medal, the Navy and Marine Corps Combination Medal with five awards, the Navy and Marine Corps Achievement Medal with two awards, the Volunteer Service Medal, and various other personal and unit awards. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Command Master Chief Chris G. Paskovich. in review is a tradition within all military units, allowing the unit commander to formally inspect the unit under their charge. Over the entire history of the depot, Marines have crossed this parade deck and have deployed into conflicts around the world where we have earned our trust and dependability. Places such as Guadalcanal, where Marines worked with United States soldiers to win the first offensive victory during World War II. Iwo Jima, where uncommon valor was a common virtue and Marines rose the national flag on top of Mount Suribachi. In John, where Marines assaulted three beaches simultaneously and outflanked North Korean forces. Quay City, where Marines defeated North Vietnamese forces during the Tet Offensive. Granada, where military members were a part of Operation Urgent Fury to help stabilize a local government. Kuwait, where Marines were a part of Operation Desert Shield and Desert Storm and fought to liberate the country from Iraqi forces. Fallujah, where Marines surrounded the city within 24 hours to commence Operation Vigilant Resolve and take back the city from Al-Qaeda forces. Marja, where Marines worked with Afghan, British, Canadian, Danish, and Estonian forces in order to remove Taliban forces from the last stronghold in the Helmand province. Even now, Marines are stationed worldwide to answer the call when they are needed. This parade deck has had many legendary Marines march across it, and they have never forgotten the feeling of earning their place among our ranks. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as the national flag passes directly in front of you, please rise. Once it passes, you may be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the Commander of Troops, First Sergeant Thomas A. Brady, and the Regimental Staff. San Diego, California.
Series 2169. Series Chief Drill Instructor Staff Sergeant Jean Pierre Rios. Platoon 2169. Senior Drill Instructor Sergeant Eugenio A. Cantu. At 170, Senior Drill Instructor Sergeant Edward Israel M. Gomez. Platoon 2171, Senior Drill Instructor Staff Sergeant Jake C. Brown. Regimental Color Guard is led on the march by the Regimental Color Sergeant, Drill Instructor Sergeant Emmanuel J. Just. Series 2173, Series Chief Drill Instructor Gunnery Sergeant Dwight Wagoner, and Platoon 2173, Senior Drill Instructor Staff Sergeant Irving E. Zabios. Platoon 2174, Senior Drill Instructor Gunnery Sergeant Francisco Agraz. Platoon 2175, Senior Drill Instructor Gunnery Sergeant Josiah D. Sandel. Ladies and gentlemen, if you turn to page 21 of your graduation pamphlets, you will find the Marines Hymn. The Marines Hymn has a history dating back to 1859 and has a long-standing tradition for Marines to face the direction of the music and stand at attention when it is heard. It is now directed that all Marines present who have served honorably, and ladies and gentlemen, you're all encouraged to join. Sing the words to the first verse as Marine Band San Diego performs Anchors Away, followed by the Marines Hymn. Will the guests please rise?
Thank you. Please be seated. The parade reviewing official will now dismiss the staff. important thing we do in the Marine Corps is make Marines. The individual Marine is the core. That is what we do here. For the Marines graduating today, the long arduous journey of the last 13 weeks is but a small step into the future of the Marine Corps. As they prepare to fill the ranks of our Corps, they do so with the unquestionable support for the high ideals and standards of the United States of America and the United States Marine Corps. Although Hotel Company prepares for the final dismissal from boot camp, their initial training is not over. Soon after graduation, they will report to the School of Infantry, Camp Pendleton, California, where they will continue to be trained to serve as an effective member of a Marine Rifle Squad. The intense initial training that every Marine undergoes is designed to instill the fundamental premise that every Marine is a rifleman. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we would like to introduce to you the Marines responsible for ensuring the success of the difficult transition required to become a Marine. The company commander is Captain Colby L. Wickman. The company first sergeant is First Sergeant Thomas A. Brady. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a round of applause for the company staff of Hotel Company. Next portion of the ceremony will be the traditional function of retiring the guide odds. The guide odds have been carried by the platoons throughout recruit training and are being retired to symbolize the disbanding of platoons. All similar units in the Marine Corps carry such guide odds, which identify the unit under a source of pride to each individual member. Note that the honor of carrying these guide odds is bestowed upon those Marines who displayed outstanding leadership qualities, motivation, and character, and were selected as the platoon honor graduates. The platoon honor graduates compete for the titles of series and company honor graduate. They are considered the top Marines graduating today and have demonstrated the highest potential for future leadership and responsibility in the Marine Corps.
the Guidons will now be returned to the drill instructors. Honor graduates will now be presented a plaque by the battalion commander, Lieutenant Colonel Paul C. Trower, and the battalion Sergeant Major, Sergeant Major Amina T. Serike. Ladies and gentlemen, please hold your applause until all honor graduates have been recognized. Graduate for Platoon 2169, and the company honor graduate is Lance Corporal Hunter R. Haug from Nova Soda, Texas. Lance Corporal Haug is also the recipient of the Chesty Puller Award for his outstanding meritorious performance while in recruit training. The honor graduate for Platoon 2170 is Private First Class Calvary T. Sweet from Tacoma, Washington. The honor graduate for Platoon 2171 is Private First Class Jacob S. Holler from Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. The honor graduate for Platoon 2173 and the series honor graduate is Lance Corporal Gregory B. Chow from Carson, California. The honor graduate for Platoon 2174 is Private First Class Roberto D. Sanchez from Moreno Valley, California. And the honor graduate for Platoon 2175 is Private First Class Kingston B. Collins from San Dimas, California. Ladies and gentlemen, the honor graduates of Hotel Company.
First, sir, reporting in order. Dismiss the company. Aye, aye, sir. Company first sergeant will now give the command to the senior drill instructors to dismiss their platoons. Needless to say, this will be the most welcome command they have received throughout recruit training. Today's ceremony. And gentlemen, as a friendly reminder, please do not cross the parade deck or walk in front of their viewing stand and utilize the far ends. Pick up any trash and personal belongings and utilize always receptacles. Once you have found your new Marine, please start making your way towards your vehicles utilizing the walkway behind the bleachers. Your Marine has been briefed on escorting you to your vehicle. Please keep in mind the level of training your Marine has received and afford the same opportunities to the...